Why do 67% of political enthusiasts think debates are more theater than substance? It's a question that has been on the minds of many, especially in the current political climate, where sensationalism often overshadows meaningful discourse. Theatrics, grandstanding, and dramatic claims seem to dominate the stage, leaving little room for substantive policy discussions. This perception isn't entirely unfounded, as debates have increasingly become platforms for candidates to showcase their personalities rather than their policies. Trump's latest claim might just prove them right. In a political landscape already rife with controversy, his statements add fuel to the fire. His approach to debates has always been unconventional, often prioritizing shock value over traditional debate tactics. This latest move is no exception and has already sparked a flurry of reactions from both supporters and critics alike. In a move that's shaking the political landscape, Trump accuses Biden of drug use. This accusation is not just a casual remark, it's a calculated strategy designed to undermine Biden's credibility and shift the focus of the debate. Such claims are bound to generate headlines and dominate news cycles, ensuring that Trump's narrative remains at the forefront of public discourse. Trump accuses Biden of drug use. This isn't the first time Trump has made such bold accusations. His history of making controversial statements is well documented. And this latest claim fits neatly into his established pattern of behavior. By making such a sensational accusation, Trump aims to put Biden on the defensive, forcing him to address the claim rather than focusing on his own campaign messages. But that's not all. He's introducing a new debate tactic called the refuddle. This tactic is designed to be a game changer, a way to disrupt the traditional flow of debates and keep his opponents off balance. The refutal is more than just a clever play on words. It's a strategic maneuver aimed at redefining the rules of engagement in political debates. So what is a refutal, you ask? Trump says it's a mix of a rebuttal and a refutation. This hybrid approach allows him to not only counter his opponent's arguments, but also to dismantle them systematically. By combining these two elements, Trump believes he can deliver more impactful and persuasive arguments, leaving his opponents with little room to maneuver. Trump says it's a mix of a rebuttal and a refutation. This means he plans to address Biden's points head on while simultaneously presenting evidence or arguments that aim to disprove them entirely. It's a tactic that requires a deep understanding of the issues at hand and the ability to think on one's feet, qualities that Trump believes he possesses in abundance. Basically, he aims to counter Biden's arguments by not just opposing them, but proving them wrong. This approach is designed to leave a lasting impression on the audience, showcasing Trump's ability to not only challenge his opponent, but also to provide compelling counter-arguments. It's a high-stakes strategy that could either solidify his position or backfire spectacularly, and he's confident it will unveil some startling truths. Trump believes that his refuddle tactic will expose weaknesses in Biden's arguments and reveal truths that have been overlooked or ignored. This confidence is a hallmark of Trump's debate style, where he often projects certainty and conviction, regardless of the veracity of his claims. But hold on, this isn't the first time Trump has made such claims. Remember the 2020 campaign? His strategy then was similarly aggressive, filled with bold accusations and dramatic statements. While some of his claims were dismissed by experts, they nonetheless succeeded in keeping him at the center of the conversation. This isn't the first time Trump has made such claims. Remember the 2020 campaign? Similar accusations were tossed around and dismissed by experts in Biden's camp. Despite the lack of evidence, these claims managed to capture public attention and dominate media coverage, illustrating the power of sensationalism in modern politics. Similar accusations were tossed around and dismissed by experts in Biden's camp. These past incidents serve as a reminder of the contentious nature of political debates and the lengths to which candidates will go to gain an advantage. The 2020 campaign was marked by a series of dramatic claims and counterclaims, each designed to sway public opinion and undermine the opposition. Biden, on the other hand, calls these claims absurd and baseless. He has consistently maintained that such accusations are nothing more than distractions from the real issues facing the country. By dismissing these claims outright, Biden aims to keep the focus on his policy proposals and vision for the future. He's focused on debating issues that matter to the American people. Biden's strategy is to steer the conversation towards substantive topics such as healthcare, the economy, and social justice. By doing so, he hopes to contrast his approach with Trump's, presenting himself as the candidate of reason and stability. 
experts are split. The introduction of the refutal tactic has generated a wide range of opinions among political analysts and commentators. Some see it as a brilliant move that could redefine the dynamics of political debates, while others view it as a risky gambit that could easily backfire. Some believe Trump's tactic could backfire if seen as too aggressive or unfounded. The potential for backlash is significant, especially if the refutal is perceived as overly confrontational or lacking in substance. In such a scenario, Trump could alienate undecided voters and reinforce negative perceptions among his detractors. Others think it might energize his base and put Biden on the defensive. For Trump's supporters, the refutal could be seen as a demonstration of strength and assertiveness, qualities they admire in their candidate. By keeping Biden on the defensive, Trump could shift the momentum of the debate in his favor. High risk, high reward, right? The refutal tactic embodies the essence of high stakes political maneuvering. It has the potential to either deliver a decisive blow to Biden's campaign or to backfire spectacularly, depending on how it is executed and received by the public. With the upcoming debate, expect fireworks. The stage is set for a dramatic showdown, with both candidates preparing to deploy their respective strategies. The anticipation is palpable, as voters and analysts alike await the outcome of this high-stakes encounter. Will Trump's refutal swing public opinion? The effectiveness of this tactic will ultimately be determined by how it resonates with the electorate. Will it be seen as a masterstroke of political strategy, or will it be dismissed as yet another example of Trump's penchant for theatrics? Only time will tell. The impact of the refutal will become clearer in the days and weeks following the debate, as polls and public opinion begin to reflect the reactions of voters. Until then, the political landscape remains as unpredictable as ever. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your interest in this unfolding political drama and look forward to bringing you more updates and analysis in the future. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your engagement helps us continue to provide in-depth coverage and insightful commentary on the issues that matter most. Do you think Trump's refutal will be effective? We want to hear your thoughts on this controversial tactic. Will it change the course of the debate, or will it be dismissed as mere theatrics? Let us know in the comments. Your opinions are valuable to us and contribute to the ongoing conversation about the future of our political landscape. Until next time, stay informed and stay engaged. The political arena is constantly evolving, and your participation is crucial in shaping the direction of our democracy.